Hey loves, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, my name is Esther and my channel is Life with Dede. I do DIY and sewing videos. And in today's video, we're going to make this cute corset top and I already made patterns for this um, particular top in the previous video. So if you haven't seen that yet, Please do that, make your patterns and come here, let's all make this cute top together. So this is a top that I saw a lot on Pinterest and I wanted to get it but then whenever I click the link it takes me to AliExpress and when I read the reviews I didn't really like it so I decided to make it by myself and yeah that is what we're gonna do today and i hope you all like this video if you have any comments and questions you can also put them in the comment section and i want to thank all my subscribers and also those of you who are still considering subscribing to my channel you're all welcome and i can't wait to see you join the family and help a girl get to 1k subscribers and even more okay so if you also don't know about my etsy shop i have an etsy shop where i do sell hair bonnet and african print dresses you can check them out if you're someone who is interested in these things so without talking further let's get right into today's video <laughs> So I'm going to use this fabric which is almost like a corduroy. It's really smooth on the right side and yeah, it almost looks like the fabric I saw um, with the top and interlining, bone, ruler, elastic tape, tape measure, pins or clips depending on which side you're working on scissors and you need your patterns so i have all my patterns the back pattern the and the front pattern you also need your sleeve block which i'm going to cut short and then draft it later on you also need a tape cello tape and an extra brown paper for making the sleeve and the paper cutting scissors. So now I measured the length of your sleeve and mine was 11 and a half. So when you achieve your requir required length, cut it out and then draw a line in the center because we'll be cutting it into two and opening it up for um extra fabric for the gathering at the at the um, armhole <laughs> and also around the arm so put it on a brown paper draw a line and put them on the line and then use the tape to hold it down you can also pin it up if you want and then add draw your style line so draw it to achieve until you achieve what you want and then i also curved the lower side a bit now that you achieved your sleeve cut it out i decided to take that out before cutting the lower side because i wanted to fold it into two so that um, the curve is equal on the front and on the back. So this is our sleeve and now our patterns are ready. We have all the patterns to work with. So now lay all your patterns on the fabric. and make sure the center front is where the fold is because it will be unfold we don't need two pieces for that so make sure you place that at the center and then cut out all the p 
pieces out and at this point i want to say that um the panel lines in front of the original style was a bit slanted and it was like two but i did only one which was straight so you can do it however you want it it's an inspiration so you can kind of modify the style however you want it so now i put the back piece on the fabric as well and i don't need a zip so i'm going to fold it a bit in for the um, straps at the back so do that as wide or however you want it and then cut it out and cut it into two because we need two pieces of that for the main fabric and also lay your sleeves on the fabric and cut it out we need two pieces of the sleeve for the main fabric now i'm going to use this lining i actually bought this cotton fabric to make a project but i didn't want to use the same fabric for the um top as the lining so I use this as the lining and cut the lining same as the main fabric so cut everything again with the lining and then iron your interfacing on the main fabric after you iron that now pin everything together from front to back pin all the pieces together except the sleeve so right now we are working on the main main um top we'll work on the sleeve later so let's focus on this pin everything and that is that is it and also do same for the cups and with the cups it can be really confusing so i usually mark where the center front is and the side panels so that i don't get confused it can be really confusing so now match the notches and then pin them and do same to the lining now i'm going to cut a fabric for the straps cut as long as you want i usually make it very long because i can cut it after what than when it's short so cut as much as you need and that is all we have there all our cutting is done and all we have to do is to start sewing so now i'll join all the pieces together where we paint do same to the other one and here we are now i'm going to reduce the side seam to quarter of an inch and iron all the seams flat also with the cap slash them to to ease it up and iron it flat so i went ahead and also did the straps and here we go after ironing see the bulge there it's really nice it's looking good already now we're going to put the bone in so measure your allowances out and then put it in between that and then after i'm going i'm going to sew it with a zigzag stitch on the lining you can put it on your main fabric if you want but i want to put it on the lining and then after sewing the boning then you attach the cups to the right places 
also i'm going to draw um a top i'm going to sew a top stitch on the style line in front that is cut off an inch to, um, top stitching and this is how it looks so i'm putting the bony now with a zigzag stitch make sure to leave your allowance now make also a top st stitch on the bra cap towards the center front and that is how it's looking now now insert your bra caps i mean yeah <laughs> insert your caps and make sure the notches are matching and everything so these bra caps don't have um forms or padding or any wire i just made it and did an under stitch to make the um under bust a bit firm i actually wanted to add the wire to the under bust but then i realized my wire was a bit shorter that's why i didn't put it do same to the other cap and there we go so now i'll um, remove the lower side of the allowance under the bra cap to ease up the fabric around that place do that for both and then iron it down and make a top stitch of half an um cut off an inch so i'm i indicated where i want to put my straps do that also and yeah now that everything is done i'm going to put right sides together align them and sew all around and then at the center front i'm going to leave about two to three inches opening so i can flip it um inside out make sure all the seams are aligned and this gives you a very neat work so do that and leave the space at the um, front waist So after sewing around, I'm going to snip all the corners for a very smooth corners after flipping it over. And also I'm going to trim the allowances. We don't want any bulge or bulky um, seams after turning our work. So trim it off. <laughs> And this is how it looks after flipping and ironing my phone went off so i couldn't show it on camera this is how it looks and what i'm going to do next is to work on the sleeves i already um sewed my um 
straps all i have to do is to turn it inside out so let's work on the sleeve right size to right size and then stitch your allowance on the around arm and the the armhole area so you can pin it and then take it to the machine when you stitch the around arm area flip over and do an under stitch on the lining to enable it to lie flat and then after doing that snip 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 and turn it inside out i did that because i want the around the sh um, armhole area to lie flat because it's curvy so turn it over and iron it flat and after ironing we're going to mark from the armhole down one inch and then make a casing for the elastic band and also for the around arm area so measure your around arm and cut the elastic band according to that and also your armhole so i'm making the casing do that for both sleeves and after that we are going to insert the elastic band so with the help of a safety pin insert your elastic band and i'm going to do that off camera because i believe everybody can do this so this is how it's looking after that i went ahead and joined the side seams and also used the zigzag stitch to finish the raw edges now i'm going to use a thread and needle to attach the sleeves because it's quite bulky for my machine to take so i don't want to break any needles so after that i'm just attaching my straps to the back loops and then our work will be done so this is how it's looking now i really love it i'll go ahead and attach my sleeves and then i'll wait for you guys to see so this is how it's looking now and i really love it so at this moment if you like it please give me a thumbs up and if you still haven't subscribed yet please do that and yeah i'll see you again in my next video have a lovely day bye